getting some heat grade boost and liquid gold into the watering can, folks. It's been about five days since I sowed my seeds, my autumn winter crop, and we've come back to have a look and see how they're going. And just because I haven't put a plastic bag over my seedling trays to create that mini hothouse to create that condensation, I've got this bigger hothouse. They do dry out in here because there's a lot more air circulation in here. But have a look at it here. Have a look, they've germinated. Not even five days. I've got broccoli growing, I've got silver beet growing here, I've got purple chicory, and that's the watermelon radish over there as well. And here as well, cabbage, savoy. Spring onions haven't kicked on yet. This cabbage hasn't. I might bring these ones down to here because it seems like this here is perfect. They seem to be drying up up here. So put them down here like that. And another burst of liquid gold and eco burst will have these jumping out in a record, I reckon in about seven days. Another week. We're going to have some serious seedlings growing in here to plant out into the veggie garden. Now, that's sowing your seeds in a tray. I've got another great tip for you. A lot of you out there have gone out there and bought a lot of toilet paper, more than you can probably handle, I reckon. Well, in my household, as you can see, there's a lot of <coughs> going on here, and this is the result of it. Now, what you've got to do is not throw it out and not let the door hit you in the back like that. <laughs> Don't throw all this out. Don't expect it to get recycled properly. Recycle it yourself. And a great way to do that is to grow your own little seedlings. Turn them into little pot plants because this little carbon will break down into carbon and the microbes will break that down. Turn it into palatable food, fertilise it for your plants to enjoy and grow. And a simple way to do that is this. And what we do is we cut little slots in the bottom like that. Three or four cuts like that, maybe five, and then just start folding it over to create the base of your seedling. You've probably seen this online already from others doing it. Well, I'm going to show you in real time, not just a picture of it, of what it looks like. Have a look at that. There's your base. There's your little seedling pot. And then you put them in here, like that. Line them all up in a row. There you go, folks. Look at this. My toilet rolls all folded at the bottom into this little polystyrene box. And there's about 11 across by 7 down. That's 77 toilet rolls and I haven't even gone through halfway through our box there. Now what we need to do is put some seed raising mix. I love my house, and don't be too pedantic because a lot will fall in between. If you'd like, you can fill them up one by one like this. That could take a while to do. I'm just going to sprinkle it over the top and everything that falls in between can still be used later on once you transplant the toilet rolls into the ground. And once you've got them three quarters full, that's perfect. And if you get too much in it, don't worry too much because as you add water, it will compact down. I'm going to sow some spring onions in here because they're good to, to plant out in little bunches. Not a lot together, that is, like three or four if you can. Ideally separate, but it takes forever to separate. So in this little environment, this is a great way to try and get as, as little as you can in each, each hole or each uh, seedling or toilet paper roll. So one in each one. Yeah, even two or three is okay to put in each one because you can separate them easily if you want to. But you don't have to because afterwards when you transplant them out into the garden, they'll be going straight into the ground with the paper pot. Let's call it the toilet roll paper pot. And that way it'll break down and you can harvest them a lot easier. Now, a light feed with our liquid gold and eco boost. This is vital, folks, to give them a good start, to hydrate it with all the microbial nutrients that they need to give them the best chance to grow straight away. And we'll put them straight into the hothouse. You don't need to put any more soil on top because that was just sinking straight onto their own. They're so small. And I reckon in about five days, these will germinate as well, just like all the other ones have in here. Now, once you've done that, as I said, take them out once they've grown big enough and straight into the ground with a little bit of mulch around them. And again, a liquid feed, EcoBoost Liquid Gold and Black Grit is what your plants need to give them a healthy start and guarantee sureness of good healthy growth and plenty of produce for you to enjoy in these crazy times from Eva Silly, Maresi. Don't forget to go to our website and enjoy some of the great benefits there for you too. And five days later, once your seedlings grow just like this little one here has, all you gotta do is plant it into your well-prepared garden bed with all your compost manure, look at this. This is fantastic. And you don't have to take it out. Look at that, so healthy, even the roots are growing through at the bottom. Plant it straight into the ground like that. Press it in. Delicious. Toilet paper rolls, they should not go to waste. They should go to good use in your garden. 
And folks, if you're thinking we actually use that many toilet paper rolls, we did. It was my mother-in-law who's been collecting it for the last year. And we're not going to throw them out. And that's the important thing here. We're trying to recycle everything we have for the safety of our environment. Because we have to look after our environment and do save your toilet paper rolls. For those who've actually gone and out there and done some panic buying, I'm sure you're going to have a lot of toilet paper rolls that you can plant your seedlings in. And at the end, everybody's going to benefit. Arrecio.